Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Problem Solved. I'm going to help you today flush your coolant, uh, antifreeze from your vehicle and replace it with fresh. You want to look at the tools in the comments, uh, required um, items needed before you attempt this. It's really simple, really easy, and uh, I'm going to help you to be able to do it yourself. Um, what we're looking at here is the overflow tank on my 2004 Civic Si, and this here is the uh, antifreeze um, receptacle, really the radiator where you would uh, find the antifreeze or coolant. Um, that's where you're going to flush and fill. Um, um, I've already done the research. I, I mean, I've known my car for quite a long time. I've been doing this. You want to look it up and find out where your drain, your radiator or coolant antifreeze drain is located. Should be generally in the same location under the vehicle uh, in the front. You know, it should actually be the bottom of the radiator. Mine has a twist off. Uh, you loosen it by, you know, you could basically hand loosen and tighten um, this screw, um, this drain plug, as I'd like to refer to it. It has two wings, like tabs on it, so you can easily grab it by hand. It shouldn't be tight um, unless someone before you cranked it down with a tool. Um, so this procedure is very simple. Uh, you want to find and locate that drain, um, and you want to loosen it. And lefty loosey, righty tighty. So turn to the left, uh, which would be like counterclockwise, if you're looking directly at it. Um, once you turn it, you should start to see coolant drain. You want to make sure you have your oil pan or wh whatever kind of receptacle you have to catch the old antifreeze and coolant. Sometimes, as in my case, the car is low. I chose not to raise it up and jack it up. I just feel more comfortable like that. It's quicker, and I have just enough room to get in there and get a receptacle uh, oil pan underneath to catch uh, the waste antifreeze uh, coolant. And that's what's happening now. Once you loosen that drain plug, uh, the coolant will start coming out. You can pop the cap off on top of the radiator. Um, you definitely should. Make sure you put it in a safe spot, a clean spot, and somewhere where you're not going to knock it into the engine and lose it. Um, that will allow air to come in and force the coolant out. Um, as you can see, it's draining pretty decent. Uh, I don't like to back out that drain plug too much. Um, and I had the time this day. You want to set aside a good hour um, to be able to do the whole procedure. I'm looking in the radiator now. You can see it's definitely gone down. Uh, you won't necessarily see it empty, um, but you will see that it, it should drain down from the top um, as it's emptying. Um, also, the overflow, um, you want to take that cap off, and that you know allows even more air into the system in order for draining. Just keep an eye on the caps, and again, you don't want anything falling in here while you're working on the car uh, or the vehicle. Um, even put a disposable cup, plastic or paper cup, on top if you if you're working in a dirty environment. So I'm going to let that drain out, and uh, once it's to a trickle, or you know, I might even just leave it, um, close it up at this point. You want to probably drain it all out if you have the time, but I'm going to do a flush as well. Um, and so it's going to get filled with water anyway, so this is fine. You should also probably use gloves. I normally do, um, you know, disposable gloves like the latex gloves. Um, they work just fine. This is hazardous stuff. It's poisonous, generally not good for you, uh, the environment, animals, or your skin. Um, but I was kind of in uh, press for time. So at this point, we've got the coolant or the old antifreeze drained out. You want to tighten up that overflow tank cap, and you want to grab your hose or uh, jugs of water. Should be clean water. I think it's also, also probably recommended use distilled water, but I'm just doing a flush 
Um, usually you would do use distilled water if you're mixing your antifreeze and coolant yourself and you're not buying a pre-diluted or a 50-50 blend. Uh, but for a flush, it's sufficient to use any clean water source, you know, a hose, as I'm using here now, is just fine. Um, you're going to want to fill it. Don't try and avoid overfilling and getting a lot of water in the work area and, you know, on your engine. Um, you know, obviously water is, a, is an enemy of metal parts. Um, but this is, uh, again, just to flush the system. It'll pick up any contaminants um, and help move whatever might be sitting in, in little crevices inside the cooling system. You know, move it around and then we'll drain it out. So you want to fill it to the top. There'll be air in the system. It should burp out a little bit. You know, as you're filling, that's what I'm showing here. You know, as it fills to the top and overflows, eventually it goes down a little bit. Uh, taking up the space in, in the system. Once you've filled it and stops burping or draining um, and it's pretty much to the top, you close up that radiator cap, make sure your overflow cap is closed as well and you start your vehicle. You want to run it and keep running it like this. Just make sure you don't have any leaks, um, that everything is tight and always keep your um, hands necklaces, uh, hoodie, ties, anything away from the engine. You want to run the engine for a good 10 minutes. I didn't show it here for the sake of time, but 10, 15 minutes, and you want to have the heater on blast. So 10 or 15 minutes of running with the heat on max inside um, the vehicle. Uh, this is a little spillage from before, um, but you got to let the car cool off. You want to wait at least 45 minutes to an hour for the car to be completely cool, and you could check the drain area and check the cap to touch after about 45 minutes to an hour. It wants, it's got to be cool. There's pressure that builds up inside. That water will be boiling at some point. Um, so before you open any of the system up, make sure it's cool. Then you go back and you start with the drain plug. You start draining out this water. Uh, that, that's the flush. You open up the radiator cap entirely. Let all the air into the system as it's uh, draining, you know, very carefully. Um, and you place the caps in a spot where you're not going to lose them again. Well, let me reiterate, you're going to run the car for 10 to 15 minutes with the water in the system um, and the heat on max, full max inside the cabin. After 10 to 15 minutes of running the car, you got to shut the vehicle off and let it cool for 45 minutes to an hour. Make sure it's cool to the touch. With the engine off and the heat off inside, uh, now you, you've checked that everything is cool to the touch. You can drain the coolant, um, the flush, the water, whatever it is that's in there, um, you know, all the contaminated water and coolant mix. Drain that out and tighten up the drain plug. Once you've done that, you're ready to fill with fresh, brand new antifree or 50-50 coolant uh, mix, whatever you're using. Uh, you want to open up the um, overflow cap, open up the radiator cap. You're going to fill the radiator um, as much as it takes all the way to the top. Using a funnel, of course, um, helps a lot. Keep it from being messy, um, spilling all over and wasting uh coolant antifreeze you fill the radiator all the way to the top till it can't take anymore um, it will go down it'll fill air see see it went down there um, there'll be spots it fills uh, voids crevices air will um, burp out of the system keep checking keep filling and uh, also at some point while you're doing the radiator you also do the overflow the overflow tank usually has a min and max and right in between the min and max is usually a good level to fill the overflow tank uh, to start with uh, from a completely empty system you should fill it somewhere in between the min and max line um, to start with and that's what we're doing here now once you got the overflow tank filled you want to close up the cap on that on the overflow tank and start the engine of the vehicle um, 
start the engine and run it so that it could absorb the coolant. And once you got the uh, overflow tank in between the min and max lines, you can go back, you know, tighten up the overflow tank cap, go back to the radiator, concentrate on that. Keep filling, watching, checking. See it's to the top there. Probably take a little bit more. And you'll keep adding until it really won't accept any more. I like to keep an eye on the uh, drain, make sure it's tight, nothing's leaking. The car is running, uh, so I wouldn't recommend checking this with a running vehicle, but I like to double check the overflow tank as I'm filling with coolant, antifreeze. Um, that should not change, should not go down or up, it should remain constant, because again, that's to catch uh, overflow from when the coolant expands if it's overfilled it'll go into the overflow tank you can see it's sucking it up um, pretty good here so you want to just keep the same process going until it's filled to the top and you really can't fit anymore and that's when you're gonna stop For the sake of time, I sped up the video a little bit, uh, two times, but uh, as you can see there, it's full. So now you go in the vehicle, you want to turn off the heat, turn off the vehicle, and you go back to the front of your vehicle, check and see if you could just add any more. Um, it might have gone down just a little bit further. I mean, we're not talking about much. I'm good with this at this level, and we're pretty much done. Uh, you want to recheck after a week of driving like this, always check for leaks, be aware of it, uh, that you've flushed the system, you've changed something, so be mindful of that. Make sure the overflow cap and the radiator cap are tight and clean up your area. Antifreeze, coolant, um, it's poisonous to any a animal, uh, human, wildlife, um, and it's a biohazard. Always clean up after you're done. Always recycle the old stuff and uh, you could put that in the containers that you had the new coolant or antifreeze in and uh, that's it please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, pound that subscribe button it helps me continue doing what i'm doing lets me know uh, people are uh, getting something out of this i appreciate your time watching i hope i've helped you in a way um, and i look forward to doing more thanks again bye